here we are what's up youtube um uh, yeah so if you're just joining me over on instagram i did a little instagram live uh first thing first if you're just watching this video i need to let you guys know something uh six cents is offering 15 percent off their apparel this weekend um I forgot the code exactly. I'll put it in the comments after the video. So you can get 15% off the Netman hat, this shirt, any apparel over there. So let me see if I can see the chat up in here. Live chat. All right. So <clears throat> I'm not going to do a bait show or anything. I'm basically sitting in my truck, Randy Blockett style, uh, making a video. And uh, I bought a bag of poop today. What's up, bro? Killer fishing. Look at here. Depths cover scat. Yeah. So one of the hottest baits in the country. I walked into a tackle store today. It's called Dennis and Denny uh, Outdoors in Feastus, Missouri. Dude, they got all kinds of JDM tackle. And uh, so I bought these little Westons because he's a little piece of poop. Um, all right. Well, he not really is. Dude, I don't even know the guy. I'm fixing to talk about that. But really cool little bait. I'm excited to actually try fishing these things. Maybe I'll make a clickbait YouTube fishing challenge video of it. Um, but believe it or not, hookup tackle, tackle warehouse, everybody sold out of these things. They had them in stock. So if you're looking for that bait, uh, hit up Dennis and Denny Outdoors in Missouri. Uh, their fishing department manager, Sean, said he will ship to you guys. So um, got to let you guys know um, how to get stuff. I got that and uh, I got an evergreen uh grass ripper jig it's down here in the floor what's up dick it's always funny when when dick duckett joins he needs a shirt what up dick so anyway evergreen grass ripper really like this jig right here pretty sweet uh kind of reminds me of the hybrid jig from six cents with that head shape definitely they didn't copy six cents or anything like that just a similar design before we get our bait copy and panties wadded up uh, do like the cover color shorter shed no grass on Kentucky Lake um, but we still throw swim jigs and might as well I love getting new baits reviewing them and uh, if you saw on IG I got some jackal bounty fish in really cool bait so obviously I don't like to click bait titles because that's not what we do here but I have to address something and that is the video that uh, Weston Smith put on uh, YouTube, uh, I guess late Friday, Thursday night that I couldn't really address because I work midnight. You know, I work for a living. Uh, I don't just do YouTube. Uh, I'm not a tuber. Uh, I do like to post videos. And uh, long story short, if you follow me on Instagram, I made an Instagram reel story of a photo that came across my feed because I follow certain hashtags. And it was a frog in a bass's mouth, which looked like normal until I noticed there was no line attached to this frog, nor was the frog hooked into the fish's mouth. So I laughed about it and thought, oh, that's funny. And so I made an Instagram story and basically said, when you first see it, and the next one said, enhanced. And then you saw where there's no line attached to the frog, nor the hooks were in the bass. And I put not proper at Weston Smith. Now I can tell you how many videos of Weston Smith I've ever watched. And uh, one was where he pledged his loyalty to Guggen Baits and Guggen Rods and basically said he was not going to use favorite rods anymore because he knew the Guggen ones were going to be better. And he's a big fanboy and he was looking to get paid and get sponsored. Okay, I get it, whatever. Uh, actually, I don't get it. I don't understand why you would want to be so loyal to a product that is not loyal to you or has not even been. Uh, made so this was like in pre-development stage. So after that, I was just, I'll never watch this guy. He offers no content that I want to be a part of. And that doesn't mean uh, he's a bad dude or anything. Just not my type type of team. I'm all about the baits. I like fishing for big fish. I like guys that are keeping it real. So anyway, so I post that. Think no big deal. I get couple dozen Instagram messages people are laughing no one's really making fun of the guy neither I wasn't making fun of him I don't really care about Guggen Bates I wasn't making fun of Guggen Bates really it didn't matter what brand frog this photo was 
Well, he makes this video and basically said the only reason I make made that was I was chasing clout that I just wanted people to notice me and I was jealous of him and his success and that it's funny that everyone on Sixth Sense has to bash Guggen Bates because they're so much better and all this. And that is so far from the truth. It's not even close. Like, here I am, little old me. I've got like 6,000 followers on Instagram. Actually, I got like almost 6,200. Thank you, Weston. Uh, I guess what they say is true. Any um, news is good news, you know, even. So I guess uh, his haters are trying to make me famous. But anyway, or my haters from him, what, you know, I don't do that stuff. But I just found it kind of odd that, like, yes, I take photos of baits that are brand new, out of the package. But if you ever follow me on Instagram, like, my photos, I'm not trying to sell something all the time. Yes, I post my six cents uh, photos and stuff like that. You know, everyone's going to do that. But I want to... I'm, I make a lot of posts, like I'll probably make one with the cover scat, any other new stuff, and it's brand new stuff out of the package. And I'm actually trying to make, you know, a product display like photo. Um, I'm not like on the water making photo shoots. You know, if I catch a bass and it's got a bait hooked in its mouth already, cool. I'm not going to spend more than a minute trying to get a photo. A lot of times I just take a photo and roll on. Um, but basically said the reason he did that, he caught a, a bass on a uh, I forgot the name of the frog, um, which is fine. But he said the frog was beat up and one of the, the legs were coming off of it and this and that. And he basically had, went and got a brand new one because he wanted to make a really good photo of this frog, you know, for social media market and for the gram. Because we all do it for the gram. And uh, which is fine and all, but that, that still doesn't explain why would you take a really good photo of a bait? and not tied on, not even hooked the bass. You know, people, some of these sheep that are falling western, oh yeah, I wouldn't rehook it, you know, that had to hurt the fish. Yeah, I tell you what would hurt a fish is when you jack a hook set with 65 pound braid uh, when they actually eat it. Um, so, if you already hooked one, what, what, you can just lay the hook on there. But anyway, I thought it was a really lame duck excuse because you know what? If I own a tackle company, whether it's swim baits or whatever, product shot shoots are one thing. But if I have a dude on the water that's stuffing a bait in a fish, it's not even tied on. It's totally fake. And everyone knows it. it's fake. And that's one thing. But, dude, I want to see a bait that's got some rash. I want to see a bait that's got teeth marks. That's going to sell something, sell something more to me than a brand new bait hanging in a bass's mouth and i don't even mean hanging it's like floating like so i responded to weston i mean i ain't got an issue with the guy but i felt he made a lot of assumptions in that video and it was basically a hit piece and it was really about him trying to uh, chase some clout uh, telling trying to tell me i'm better than you i've got forty thousand subs on youtube which i'm sure he paid for most of those and the one is hundred thousand on instagram Every one of my followers on Instagram, maybe except for some of the freaking um, bot accounts from Half Naked Women that I usually block, they're all real. I've never paid for a sponsored ad. I've never paid for followers. Like, they're all real people that I like to uh, connect with and, you know, share my love of fishing and baits with and Bateman Jr.'s travels. So, yeah, I'm not worried about if a dude's got more followers or subs than me. Uh, at the end of the day, I keep it real. Um, I don't, uh, I don't chase other people down and try to do collabs. Um, I just go fishing with whoever. What's up, Darius? Uh, tell your wife I said thank you for the crafts, man. Uh, go hang that in Bait Junior's room. Um, like the last time I went fishing, I went fishing with Darius. It just popped up and had a great time, dude. We fished top water all morning and just cut up and laugh. That's how I, I'm not doing anything to be famous. Of course, I, you know, always would like more subscribers and, and whatnot, but uh, that's just because I like getting info, info to you guys. I'm not up here trying to do clickbait stuff, but anyway, that's your uh, YouTube update. We're about 10 minutes in, so I've almost hit the mark for rainy blocking videos. Uh, yeah, I, if, let me guys know, if, should I upload daily and just do random rants about baits and stuff like that and 
see where that goes. Um, but I just want to address the whole Weston thing. Totally blown out of proportion. I'm getting really tired of stuff like that. That's not really anything I want to be associated with. Um, what do you guys think? I think that guy did that just to backpedal. He got caught and said, you know what, I better make a video and bash this other guy. And basically that's what he said that I really didn't know what I was talking about. I was full of crap and I was a hypocrite because I made another comment that had nothing to do with his bait. So he assumed when I made something about, let's not talk about bait shaming, shaming not every bait's a copy. And this is true. It seems a lot of people see a new bait now and they go, oh, it's a copy of this bait or it's a copy of that. I actually made that post because a guy was trying to tell me the jackal bounty fish was a copy of a Lake Fork Magic Shad. And I'm like, dude, those aren't even the same type of bait. But he just assumed I was bashing Guggen bait. So, hey, man, sometimes the guilty dog bark, barks first. So, got 44 people in here. Holy cow, I'm just sitting in my freaking heavy Chevy waiting on a racetrack. I don't know, Pond Boys. He seems like an all right dude. I mean, again, some people, that's how they make their living on Instagram and stuff like that. I make my living building windows. And I make a little extra on YouTube. And that's about it, man. Hey, Bay Jr., we'll say hi. Huh? Got that. Have you been having fun, dude? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Did you like them race cars last night? Yeah. Yeah? Were you playing a, are you playing a racing game? Mm hmm Yeah? Tell everybody hello. Hi. How's school been going? Good. Good? You getting smart? You're not getting smart. I better change schools. But uh, anyway, uh, I just want to put a video up there, mainly just so that uh, I don't kill my YouTube channel. I've kind of heard it this year by not uploading. So even if it's random crap, I might stick it up there. But uh, this little cover scat thing is pretty cool. So if you get a chance, it's kind of like a finesse net bait. You can rig it weedless and whatnot. Try it. So. Yes, sir, Michael. I have enjoyed the racing. Uh, are you doing live tonight? I cannot, Matthew. I'm live right now. So, uh, I'll, I'm live here in the parking lot for Peebley, Missouri. Let's see if y'all you, you can see the racetrack here. Dude, Junior looks good in anything. I, I, listen, we went to Dunn Sporting Goods earlier. Um, the original one. Now, there was one in Paducah, but it went out of business because um, it was mismanaged. But, uh, dude, Bateman Junior, he had like a 19-year-old like on the hook, like, she was ready to like go babysitting. Like, I'm telling you, this dude is a lady magnet. Yeah, dude, Chad, it's been awesome here. This racetrack is super fast. Let's see. So this, I'm parked up on the hill uh, racetrack. They actually have a big screen here, like so you can see replays. Uh, really cool facilities. All right, Matthew, I got some cover scats in the larger size, and I use them weightless to cover, and they work really good near grass in there too. So I got the small version of Matthew uh, for some spin and tackle. I think it would work. Uh, let me know the best way to rig that. Is it on a net head or should I do weightless EWG? Um, I, I heard uh, Ben from Hookup Tackle talking about a lot of guys use it weightless and let it flutter up and down, riprap and stuff like that. So, um, but uh, yeah, we're just hanging out, man. Uh, this is my live for the weekend, live from the dirt dirt track. I ordered some poop, like Weston Smith. So, now I'm not gonna lie, I'm not trying to come off salty, I'm just trying to be funny. But at the end of the day, this dude has 100,000 followers on YouTube, or Instagram, I have 6,000. And he felt that so hurt by it, he had to make a 10 minute YouTube video bashing me. So, Please tell me who's chasing clout and who's actually upset. Who's? I don't. I've always said just because I don't use Guggen baits doesn't mean they don't work. And I'm not in the business of bashing other companies. Yes, I promote Six Cents. We all know the history there, but that doesn't mean I purposely uh, dislike people or their content just because it's Guggen baits. Man, Guggen baits actually catch fish. They get people, kids into fishing. Cool. I'm all for that. At the end of the day, a 10 pound bass weighs the same where you catch it on a $400 swim bait or $399 TRD bait. And I'm going to be happy for it. Um, so, totally took that out of context and tried to make me the bad guy. You know, I, 
I'm just not cool. And I have a right to defend myself. Dude, I have... Uh, I'm not going to give away somebody's secret, but I know a guy that slays bass in the winter with a swim bait on a swing hat. That's all I'm going to say, because he, he's probably watching this. I don't like giving people's juice away. Me, I'm going to go back to that chat real quick. Uh, if I can see it. I'm on my phone. It don't show the live chat very well, so... There you go. Chad zone. I've gone through four packs of size already. Offset hook, but sit on the bottom. Rick, appreciate that. The guy, Dennis and Denny, also uh, said he's got a good contact there. Japanese import tackle. Oh, you're going to show him your shirt, Big Man Jr.? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Show him that shirt. Sheldon Hodden Shield. Where'd he sign it at, bud? Look at that. Sheldon Hodden Shield's autograph on that shirt. Brooks said, it's probably a good thing I got his autograph. It'd be worth a lot of money if it doesn't fit me. So. No, I said when it doesn't fit me anymore. Let's see here. Oh, where's my moderator? Ah, weightless EWG. Good question. Y'all can ask me some questions. I'll answer them until we get in the track. Kevin, how deep do storm wee warts run? About four to six foot. Uh, and that's on 10 pound fluorocarbon. Got to feed Junior. Kids are always, heck yeah, Junior. Junior's like not been hungry lately. I've been worried about him. He just goes hard. Um, trying to get on that NOS Energy drink sponsorship as well. Um, I joke with the lady, they're giving away free NOS Energy because they sponsor the event. I said, I'll give you a shout out my YouTube channel for a case. And she laughed. I said, I'm actually really serious. So we'll see where that goes. What else? You got anything to talk about, Junior? No. No? What's your favorite six cents bait? I don't know. You don't know? You like the popper? I love the splashback. I know what he likes. He likes the quake. You remember the ones you found at the store? Yeah, he likes the quake. I wish I knew why these things disappeared. What happened to the six cents big glide bait? Uh, give it about a month. Uh, Brian, I believe the Berkeley Stunner is going to be a decent jerk bait. Um, it's got that JDM look, half the price, of course. Um, I don't really hate everything uh, all Berkeley, as people want to say. Uh, I, I think, think the Stunner's different enough. Um, you know, it's not the first bait that's ever had Mega Bass looks to it. I really don't think it looks like a Mega Bass, to be honest with you. Ooh, U.S. Trout Tiny Clash, dude. I got to be throwing that bait. Um, Darius, I, I almost bought a 90 size. They had it at there, and I realized, dang, gum, that thing's big. It's a lot bigger than I remember. Uh, heard anything on the chick magnet? Yeah, uh, probably around October, November, they'll be shipping to dealers in TW. Yeah, I did see that Shimano jerk bait, so I'm going to try my hand my arms from here all right so the shimano jerk bait at icast if you guys don't know shimano and jackal they kind of work together and uh that doesn't surprise me it'd probably be a really good jerk bait dude she, baby man jr just stripped down up here in the, in the in the truck he had to put that look at look at that mullet show him the mullet Woo! yes yeah, six cents hat snapbacks uh i gotta have some cover that dome you guys have been following me for a while. Y'all wrote the daggum hairs got a problem, but I only wear snapbacks. I was actually going to wear that hat, but I'll let Bait Jr. wear it. You want to put some shades on? Mm -hmm. well. Yeah, you'll have to have them shades at dirt races. So, But yeah, if you're interested in the hats, 15% off all apparel this weekend. Ah, uh, Alumma Nathan. What's up, my dude? You've been following me since the OG days. I actually would like to try to stick my fingers in the heavy poop stick bait. I'm actually disappointed about the depths when I opened the package and smelt it. It just smelled like plastic. If that thing smelt like a good fresh number two, uh, that'd be really awesome. Is the Bling 55 going to be the same as the OG? Yes, it's basically uh, the exact same bait. Now, they're not going to, they got a few new colors. They're not going to bring back all the OG colors, but they're going to bring back some of the good ones. Uh, are they biting on Kentucky Lake? Uh, yes, top water in the mornings, William. Uh, 
I saw your post in the Kentucky fishing page. Um, I don't think it's really hard to catch bass right now. It's just kind of tough to catch a lot of keepers. Um, go in the mornings, fish to about nine o'clock, fish top water on secondary points, uh, main lake stuff, and uh, stake beds. You should be able to get a few bites. Uh, my fishing partner, I'm not, he's got something going on. He's caught some good fish the last week. He just said, don't, don't tell my pattern, so. Uh, Rick says the fish arrow bait is just as good. If there's anything about JDM, dude, Rick Bartz knows it. I trust his opinion uh, more than most people. Like, if there's a question about JDM, I go to Rick. He's so knowledgeable. And I met him at ICAST, so that's crazy. I remember uh, I was in the tackle business and trying to get some gang craft stuff, and Rick just opened up to me. Super nice guy, man. Super nice guy. Good fisherman as well, so... Me and my buddy went fishing Thursday afternoon and caught 30 on a drop shot and spinning bait were turning up. Dude, I'll tell you what, uh, the spinning rods have came back in a huge way, and I've got to get better myself with those. So. Yeah, I noticed the fish arrow, it actually looks like a craw, but shaped like a turd, if that makes sense. So what's our time? What's that time say, Batman Jr.? 5.30? 5.30 hot laps are going to start here in about... 30 40 minutes so anyway uh shout out to david gravel world outlaws driver him and bait jr hit it off yesterday uh, and if y'all want to learn about this race and about sprint car racing this is my second hobby watching this stuff go over and um check out david gravel's youtube channel won the knoxville nationals two years ago amazing driver really super nice guy that's one thing i like about fishing and dirt racing and stuff like that. The athletes are so fan friendly and it was really cool to see a big name in the sport actually come over and engage uh, Brooks here and want to take a picture with him and, and talk to him. Uh, you make impressions like that on young kids and you're gonna have a fan for life. And Sheldon Hodgeshield, really nice to Brooks too. Uh, you could tell though he's uh, a little quiet, a little worn out from the race. 55 laps today, it is the Ironman, so. Has Bakeman Jr. fished the Pokemon bait? No, I don't have one yet. So I need to get one. I did realize the Pikachu is kind of small, but the Corgi or whatever that other one is huge. Viper? Yeah. Bakeman and I have fished in the last tournament there. Uh, whoo. Sorry, William. I'm fishing the last tournament there. Can I get you to pre fish with me? Uh, yeah, let me know what day that is, and uh, Bill will see if we can make that happen. I, can't guarantee you with my work schedule, but I might can go out for a few hours in the morning. So, are the Vol fans fired up about Hypo? Those are the juice questions I need to know. I personally am excited about the Hypo era. I think uh, you're going to get a lot of offense. Our defense may be all time bad. So, uh, we're going to have to hope the other teams' uh, offenses don't show up. Or we're getting some shootouts where we can run the score up and force some of these uh, teams to have to score. Um, I don't think the hyper offense is built to make comebacks, but I think it's built to get a quick lead. So it's gonna be interesting. Uh, Josh Hopple obviously was a Heisman winner, a runner up, I can't remember. Um, awesome offenses at UCF, they don't commit a lot of penalties. I could talk football all the time, so. Uh, just left to come out Weston's video. Dang, that got me fired up, man. I'm going. I'm not. I'm going to do the. I go to the wrong route. I don't like to give people. You know, basically what he did. He gave me publicity of making a video, and it actually I thought was more worse on him than me. Guys, I won't even go over there and leave comments or anything like that. Don't, don't give crickets an audience. That's how it is, and. uh I'll make, I've made my video, my reply, it's all I need to do. So, that's, that's right, Heisman runner up in 2000. And he had Adrian Peterson, so Heupel knows offense, uh, he gets the right defensive players, you know. Um, but uh, guys, thanks for joining me, my 50 something viewers here, just hanging out in the parking lot for the racetrack. Uh, we're gonna go in there and um, we're gonna watch some racing. I'm gonna drive back tonight. And then I'm actually gonna get some videos edited this week. Try to, I gotta get my Lake X shocking video, electro fishing. It's awesome. Uh, no fish 
and me and Bate Jr. go fishing. We'll get to see him boat flip or try to boat flip a three pounder. And uh, then I gotta get my Kentucky Lake video, which is, uh, Darius can tell you, I didn't catch a lot of big fish. We didn't catch any big fish. We caught one good smallmouth, but I felt like Craig Powers out there casting the popper. I was like Greg Maddox, just putting a curveball in the strike zone. And I actually made it work a few times. Called my shot. Weren't big fish at all. Debo dinking it, but it was fun. But we're going to get in there, and I'll see you guys again this week. Smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, if you come over here from Weston's uh, channel, uh, we just talk about baits over here, and we do some fishing and, and cut up and have a good time. Hit the subscribe button. Um, if not, don't worry about it. Hit the like button. If not for me, but for Junior. All right? Batman Junior, you ready to sign out? Yep. All right, see you guys.